Hey everybody, so today I just wanted to do a lipstick collection and also start decluttering a little bit of the collection. I want to show you all the bullet lipsticks I have and like stick form lipsticks. Uh, I have two of these big sort of containers and I've really been striving to get rid of as many of these as possible. So yeah, I have two of these lipstick compartments. So I have my one, my second, and I actually have a smaller container. Right, so I have this smaller container here that just has a few smaller amounts, um, longer stick forms like this. So let's just go through and see what I can get rid of. I kind of had things in here laid out in like a color order or a color family order. So I think that's probably how I'm gonna swatch them out for you. So I'm gonna start with this uh, lipstick holder set down here first. So this set is probably one of my most interesting because it has my yellowy nudes, which are my favorites, and then it has these really grungy type of colors right here in the center, and then my more like red colors over here. So I, I guess I'll pull out all the reds and then we can just start swatching and then we'll start decluttering from there, I guess. Okay, so I think I have all of my red tones pulled out. So they are all right here. Sorry, I got my nail caught in my uh, door of my vehicle and it totally ripped off. So you're going to have to see a broken nail through a lot of these videos. But uh, yeah, so these are all my reds. I prefer to wear a like classic red color in a liquid lipstick form. So having this many different types of reds is kind of useless for me, especially where, when they are in this bullet lipstick form because I don't prefer this color in this stick format. So I really do think I need to cut a lot of this color family out for that reason. I just, this is too much. This is too much. Most of my reds I like in liquid lipstick form just because they move around less and I don't have to worry about touch-ups nearly as often, but let's get started with some, some swatching, I guess. Okay, so I kind of have everything in a bit of an order. These are like my more true reds over here. Then I'm getting into like deeper reds. And then this is like an orangey red. I really only have one in this color, but I'll, I'll swatch everything so you can see. Okay, so these are some of my more true red lipsticks and you can see, I don't know how well you can see on camera, but there is quite a variety in tonality um, as far as undertones. So some are a little bit more bluer and darker, some are more of a true blue red, we've got more of this like coral red and then more just like a true red right here. So uh, let's go through. So this top one here, this is from the new Lime Crime Soft Touch Lipstick. The shade is in Radical Red. I just got this one sent to me. This whole range was just sent to me. So I'm really not done playing around with these colors. It's a really nice soft touch, soft matte formula, and it's really comfortable on the lips. So I, I 
more than likely I'm going to keep all of these colors just because they, they were literally just sent to me a week ago and I'm not, I'm not done with them yet. This one right here, which is a little darker and almost more of a brick tone. This is from L'Oreal. It is the L'Oreal Color Riche Collection Exclusive. This is Eva's Red. Uh, this used to be a favorite of mine, but it is a little bit dark. And like I said, I really don't wear stick form reds, stick lipstick form reds. So I, I think I can feel comfortable getting rid of this. I have other colors really similar to it, like this one that I got sent to me from Valentino, which is actually more of a match to that one than anything else. And I really do like this formula. It's a little bit glossier of a formula but it just wears a little bit nicer than this version from L'Oreal. Next going down the line which is the third one this is like a classic red this is like the pinup red that you see all the pinup girls wearing this is from the Sephora collection this is probably one of the oldest lipsticks in my collection this is the shade the red it's literally called the red I've I'm trying to think when I got this um, oh my god, I think, I think I'm a little embarrassed to say when I got this now. Um, I'm pretty sure I got this lipstick in the summer of 2012, which means it is pretty much 10 years old. <gasps> Oh my god, that's disgusting. Um, I just came to the revelation that this is no longer going to stay in my collection. I did not realize this was that old. Oh my god. Oh my god. So I'm wondering how old this one is then. <gasps> what? Oh my god okay well i need i need to get rid of this it's oh my god <laughs> it doesn't smell and there's nothing on it i'm surprised it's <gasps> that is so gross there's nothing on it though wow smells fine uh yeah okay i need to get rid of this i need to get rid of that so next up is this one from makeup revolution i don't know what lipstick line this is um, but it is essentially the same color as that one above it from Sephora. This one might be slightly bluer. If anything, it looks the most similar to this one, which is interesting. That's the Maybelline one. Hmm. That's a surprise. Um... I don't know. I'll think about this one for now. Gotta think about that. This next one below it, where are we at? That was this one. Okay, so this darker red below is this Sephora, other Sephora lipstick. This is the shade Passion Red. So that's this one here. This is more of like a vampy, more purple in it red version which is actually very beautiful but again these darker lipsticks i don't necessarily wear them that often in a stick form and this is pretty much the same packaging as that last sephora lipstick so i'm fearing that this is pretty much almost 10 years old as well it still smells fine it still swatches fine there's nothing growing on it but because it's because I'm thinking it's that old, I'm going to just get rid of this one too. So the next one down, which is right here, this is from Makeup Forever. I just recently got this sent to me in a Sephora kit from Sephora. This is a really small deluxe size, so I would be more comfortable keeping this one than a full size lipstick so i think on that note is why i would keep this over any of the other lipsticks just because it's smaller <laughs> so 
I think I'll keep this one. It is a deluxe size, so if I do want to reach for this stick form, at least I have one. So I think I'll keep this one from Makeup Revolution, which is that shade right here. Next up, and it's kind of the same reason, but I just love the YSL formulas. That's this one right here. It's more of like a pink blue red. Really pretty color. This is one of my favorite lipstick formulas as well. This is the shade 01 in the Rouge Pure Couture lipstick formula. I love this formula. It's a great formula. I have it in another color too, a more nude color. So yeah, I'm going to keep this one as well. It is a deluxe size. Next up is this more blue red. And it looks so similar to these two, which this one right here was the one from Makeup Revolution. And I just don't know if I need to be keeping both of these. Anyways, this one right here, this is the makeup or Maybelline Red for me. It's their matte formula. It is a really nice formula. Um, man, I didn't think it would be this hard. You know what? It's so similar to this one as well. Let me swatch it next to it out of curiosity. This radical red. I don't know why it's not quite the same. This one's a little bit more pure red instead of blue red. I don't know. Yikes. I think it's similar enough to this one from YSL that I can get rid of this one from Maybelline and this one from Makeup Revolution. I mean, in theory, when you have both of these two on your lips, they're not going to look that different, if you know what I'm saying. You know, so in the grand scheme of things, picking between this YSL lipstick and, you know, either one of these, they're going to look essentially the same on the lips. They're so similar. Nobody's really going to point out which one you're wearing. So because I'm keeping my favorite lipstick formula, one of my favorite lipstick formulas in that more blue toned red, I think I'm okay with getting rid of both of these. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. So last up, these two. I, I know I'm not getting rid of both of these. I love the Valentino formula and it's more of that bricky red, which I got rid of up here in that L'Oreal formula. Uh, so I'm definitely keeping this. This is very expensive. This is like a 50 some dollar lipstick. It's super pretty though. I mean, look at this. See that? Gorge. Love it. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep this one. I, I think a lot of it is more just the fact that it was actually sent to me from Valentino Beauty and it's freaking Valentino, so I, I have to keep it. I have to. But this one, that was the Valentino one at the very bottom. This one is more of that coral red. This is the shade Sunset Dance from the Lime Crime Soft Touch lipstick line that just released. And it's just pretty. It's, like I said, this is a really comfortable formula. I did a whole lip swatch reels on Instagram. So if you want to see it, go check it out. But you can kind of see the like soft touch texture on this lipstick. It's super formula. It's a, excuse me, my dog is shaking off in the background. It's a super comfortable formula and it's really nice on the lips. It's not drying, wears off really nice too as well. So like I said, I just got sent this entire line. So I think... Because of that, I'm going to keep these around for a little longer. So these are the five I'm keeping from this hand swatch. So there's ten on swatches on my hand and I'm just keeping five. So I got rid of half of them so far. That's kind of nice. Well, 
wonder if I can get more of my arm in the in the video here. So I'll do these next. So these three here are more of my like grungy reds and then we're getting into more of like brights, bright reds over here. So I'll do, maybe I'll do these first and then I'll go down this way. So I'll swatch them like this. Okay. Okay, so out of the seven here, here is the swatches starting with this one. This is a vibrant orange and it's also from the Lime Crime Soft Touch Lipstick formula. I'm gonna keep that one. I have no other orange lipstick bullet format, so I'm definitely keeping that. This one is more of like a gloss balm formula. It's the it's the Rouge lipstick formula, and I have this shade in the shade number 12 just a nice glossy perfect for like spring summertime i'm keeping it i really do love the ysl formulas this one which looks more of like a brick brown tone this is from henny organics this is actually considered a lip tint balm i have this in the shade intrigue it's super sheer so i think just because of that even though it has a bit of this red brownie tint to it i am going to keep it i do like these balmy tones and the same with this Ilya one right here it's from Ilya this color is the shade Arabian Nights and it's actually a very popular color for a lot of people because it's what Dakota Johnson wore in the second Fifty Shades movie the Fifty Shades Darker movie so uh this is the lipstick that she wore every day on her like everyday looks in that movie and it's just a really pretty like red tint to the lips and it actually looks very natural so this is I've been pining to find this for a while so I'm glad I have finally have it in my collection I'm not getting rid of it this color Arabian Nights from Ilya so then down here I have this like super dark vampy red color and actually when I was swatching it out it doesn't it's kind of skippy it's from bite it's the shade licorice I know they just reformulated these lipsticks, so this is their old reformulation, and it's just, it's supposed to be like a short shelf life already, so I think it might be going bad, um, and it's so dark in this super, like, glossy lipstick formula, so I think I'm just gonna get rid of it. It's too, it moves around too much, even though I really think this is starting to go bad, so I, I am just gonna get rid of this one middle one down here the second to last this is also from bite beauty this is one of their new reformulations this is the power move creamy matte lip crayon and i have this one in the shade red velvet it is a really pretty deeper red and i don't really have anything like this the most similar thing i have is this one which was that one sephora color that I decided to get rid of because it's probably as old as this one um because this looks because that looks so similar to that I think I will keep it just because I was kind of disappointed that I had to get rid of it um this one's really similar to it so yeah I think I'll keep this one and I talked about how much I love this formula already this is one of the NARS lip crayons this is the shade train blue this is one of my favorite lipstick stick formulas. It's more of a crayon formula, but I love the crayon formulas more than the actual lipstick formulas. This is just so good. I've talked about this type before. They are a little pricier, but they are worth it in my opinion. I really like this formula, and this is one of my favorite colors. It's this like super blackened berry color, and I just love it so much. So I'm keeping it. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to some of these like more grungy tones. 
So I'll pull all them out. I don't have a I don't have too many of these, so this shouldn't take super long. So this is pretty much all of my grungy, cool-toned lipstick colors. Like I said, I don't have a lot anymore. My color preferences have really changed a lot recently. So let me piece to the side and then we'll swatch some. Okay, so we have our swatches. Um, these are definitely a lot of colors that I don't reach for anymore. I used to be really into these like grungy red, almost purple toned lipsticks and I've really just shied away from them. I don't wear colors like this anymore, but I can already pick out a couple in here that I do love. So I'm going to start with this one from L'Oreal. It's one of their Colory Shines. This is the shade Dazzling Doe. This is one of my all-time favorite colors. I've used up well over half of it. It's just such a beautiful formula, and I love this cool tone brown color. So I am absolutely keeping this. This is also another formula I really like. It's technically a liquid lipstick in a stick component it applies beautifully it's really easy to maneuver but after a few minutes it totally sets and dries down and you can't remove it like you would a normal lipstick bullet so because of that this is just one of my favorite formulas this is the more nude shade in their line this is from Marc Jacobs this color is send nudes I just I love this formula this is one of my favorites and that's this one right here so I'm going to keep that even though I'm starting to steer away from some of those mauvey brown grungy colors. I still really love this formula. <clears throat> this formula is a little harder to wear, although I do think this is one of my more favorite lipstick bullet formulas because it goes on so stiff. But this is just not a color that I wear anymore. This is the shade Dusty Mauve. It's one of the ABH matte lipsticks. Because it's more of that purple gray color, I really do think I'm okay getting rid of this. So I will get rid of that one. It's from ABH Dusty Mauve. This one right here I'm kind of unsure about. It's like a lilac, dusty lilac tone. This is from L'Oreal. It's a really nice formula. This is the shade Lilac Impulse. I'm just... I'm so undecided with this lipstick. I might have to pull it into something and start wearing it a few times to see if I even like it anymore. But I don't know. I just don't wear pur like those purples anymore, which is sad because I love them and they're really unique. But it's just that is such an odd color anymore these days. It's just hard for me to wear it. It's just too grungy for me anymore. You know, I think I'm okay with just getting rid of this. I think I'm fine getting rid of this. This next one, I can already tell, like, obviously in these swatches, which ones I love and which ones I don't. So this one is from Maybelline. That's this color right here. It looks the most true brown out of all of these. This is the shade gray over it. It's definitely a gray toned brown. But I love it. I'm definitely keeping this one. I love this stick formula and because it has more brown tones in it versus those like red, dark reds, I'm much more 
unopposed to getting rid of this. I really enjoy these tones more than the reds in a stick formula, so I do think I will keep this one from Maybelline Gray Over It. Next up below it looks very similar to the Marc Jacobs one, so I honestly might get rid of this one too since it's one of those ABH formulas. This color is Dead Roses, and as much as I used to absolutely love colors like this, I just don't wear them anymore. I have a bit of a deeper color down here from Lime Crime that's a little bit darker but also more red and honestly I probably could have swatched that with the reds I just did but I figured it fit in this vampy tone a little bit more but I think I'm okay with getting rid of this one from ABH to Dead Roses so yeah I'm getting rid of it. Like I said this is the Lime Crime Soft Touch lipstick this shade specifically here this is the shade violet vibes and it's so funny it swatches pretty red or looks pretty red in the swatches here but in the tube it really does look like a perfect like vampy purpley maroon color again this is a brand new formula it's actually releasing february 1st this lipstick formula so Go check it out. I really do like this formula. I do think it's extremely comfortable and easy to wear. I'm keeping it. Next up is a color I also know I'm keeping. It's this cooler, lighter, nudie gray brown. This is also a Maybelline color. This is the shade 760 Gone Grage. I love this formula. Again, it's really similar to this darker one from Maybelline. They come from the same line with this like dark blue cap. I love it. This is one of my favorite tones. I'm not getting rid of this one. And lastly, this is an old Kat Von D lipstick before they changed their name to KBD Beauty. This is their Studded Kiss lipstick formula in the shade Cathedral. Now, I love the Studded Kiss formula. It's a really nice formula and the packaging is adorable. I mean, look at the packaging. But again, this is more of a red that I just choose not to wear anymore. And also it looks really similar to the one from Marc Jacobs that I'm keeping. This one is a little bit more forgiving of a formula than the Studded Kiss formula. So I do think I'm okay with getting rid of this one as well. So I'm going to get rid of it. So out of those nine, I am only keeping five. So again, that's almost half that I've gotten rid of and half that I am keeping. So this, I can get them all in frame. This right here is one of my favorite, all-time favorite lipstick tone ranges. I'm looking, oops, excuse me. I'm looking over these all right now and seeing if there's any that I think I can part with. And I'm being blatantly honest here. I'm, I'm not parting with any of these. Again, a lot of these are pretty new in my collection. Um, actually, most of these are pretty new besides these like Maybelline ones. So out of all of these, I'm not getting rid of any of them. I've already narrowed this collection down to my warm nude shades so I already know that I adore these colors the most out of all the colors I have in my collection. These are the ones that I use the most. These are the ones that I love the absolute most so I know that I, I just can't get rid of these so but I will swatch them for you just so you guys can see them, see the textures and whatnot. So like I said, I'm going to start with these 10. They barely fit in frame. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to start from top to bottom. I'll just swatch them out and then I'll talk about them all. Again, I'm not getting rid of any of these. I've really curated this type of color down and I've gotten it down to my favorites. So let's just start swatching.
Okay, so I have swatched out all 10 of these. I think it's obvious what uh, tonality these pull. They're all very, very warm nude shades. This is the darkest one, but it's still a yellow, warm toned brown. Uh, so I'll start from the top. This is probably the coolest or pinkest nude in this entire collection. This is one of the Maybelline matte lipsticks. I have this in the shade 650 or Nude Embrace. It's just a beautiful shade. It's one of my favorites out of the entire nude line that they have. This is one of my favorite matte nude shades. It's because it's the most yellow toned out of all of them. So I really, really enjoy that. This I just purchased from uh, Maybelline. It is their ultimate color sensational matte lipstick. This specific shade is more truffle. Again, this is a beautiful formula. It pulls really yellow toned, a yellow toned brown, which I really, really love. It looks beautiful on the lips. And I really like this formula and I like that it's in this sticky form. I just, I like this type of packaging. It's really convenient for me. Third one down, this is from Patrick Ta. This is one of his matte lipsticks. This color is Oh She's Single. Really pretty peachy, warm tone, yellow toned nude. Again, they're my favorite. Obviously, <laughs> I just I really love it. Again, it's a really comfortable formula too. This is one of my favorite uh, formulas to wear in this nude range. Next is this one. It's a little bit glossier, but still very similar to the Patrick Ta. This is Milani. This is also a, f a huge favorite lipstick of mine. This is the shade Bahama Beige. I love it. It's so yellow toned. It's one of the yellowest toned nude lipsticks that you can find for an affordable or drugstore price. I highly recommend that if you're looking for a nude lipstick that is more yellow than pink cleaning. That Bahama Bay shade is like the best. Next up, this is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is my newest lipstick of all. It's also my most yellow toned nude without leaning orange pink. This is stunning. This is the shade. This is her kissing formula. So it's a bit more of a glossy lipstick formula. I don't mind that, but this is the shade. Yes, honey. I love this color. This color is so beautiful. It's right up my alley. I wear a ton now that I have it in my collection. Again, this one is a little bit more neutral and cool, just slightly cooler toned, a little bit darker. This is from Jason Wu, this shade is Biscotti. I really love this formula. Again, it's a matte formula, but it's a little bit thicker. Uh, so it's like a one swipe lipstick. You don't have to build it up. Pigment is there, it's super opaque. I really, really love this formula and the color is gorgeous too. Next up down here, we're starting to get into some of the orangey peachy nudes. So this one is from Becca. Unfortunately, you cannot get this lipstick anymore, but because of that, I can't get rid of it. I love this formula. It's a bit more glossy. This is the shade Dune, and I just, I love that color. It's so pretty. Now, this one's a little bit more orange, but I'd still consider it more of a nude. This is the e.l.f. Seriously Satin lipstick line, and this is one of my favorite nudes to wear in the fall time because it just has more of that orange pumpkin color. This is the shade Nectar. Super beautiful. I love this one, too. This is a YSL, one of their glossy balm formulas. The actual formula name is the Rouge Volupt Shine. This color is the shade 122. It's a little bit more brown orange, but again, it has that glossy balmy color. It's not so opaque, so it's super forgiving and it's gorgeous. I love the yellow warm tone of it. And lastly is another glossy balm formula. This is the L'Oreal Color Riche Shine. I have this shade in glossy fun. This is again, one of my most nude yellow toned lipsticks and I love it in this glossy balm formula. It makes it really easy to pair with just about anything that I wear. I love it. Again, I've used a ton of this stuff. So I'll definitely, this is one of those shades that you'll just know that I'll get time and time again. I really love it. So that's 10 of my yellow nude lipsticks. 
I'm sorry, I'm not getting rid of any of these. These are my favorite colors of all of my lipsticks. These are my favorites. <laughs> these are still warmer nude lipsticks compared to the other lipsticks I have. My other ones are more yellow, or uh, sorry, my others are more like super pink toned. These are just neutral, maybe a hint of pink, maybe a little more yellow in some of them, but they were kind of in their own category. Again, I really don't think I'm getting rid of any of these. I've pretty much narrowed down this color range to the best of my capabilities, and a couple of them I just got sent to me as well. So there's 10 here. Let's go through some of them. So this top one right here, this is one of the Maybelline Color Sensational lipsticks. This is the shade Nude Lust. It's more of a glossy type of formula. Definitely moves around more than the matte formula. But again, this is uh, I've narrowed down these Maybelline lipsticks, and this is also one of my favorite nude colors to wear daily. And it's just a bit sheer, so it makes it a little bit more forgiving when you do wear it. This one also, again, it's brand new. It's one of the Lime Crime Soft Touch lipsticks. This shade is Vintage Spice. It's right here. It's one of their darker, almost like a orange brown tone. Definitely like a spice tone. Like I think of this definitely being a spice color when I think of that word. Love it, gonna keep it. This is a L'Oreal Colory Shine. This is Coconut Plump. It's just a super sheer balm. These are some of my favorite formulas. Again, this one is too. They're just super sheer balmy type of colors. This one is from Josie Marion. This is the Embrace It in the shade Honey. Again, I really like it. It's super sheer, very light. This really opaque one, this is from Pat McGrath. That's this one right here. It's the shade 1995. It's one of her matte lipsticks. I love this formula, super opaque. And it is a little bit more cool toned and pink, but it is still a nude and I still love it a lot. Another color that's really similar to that one is the one below it, which is from NARS. This is again, one of those velvet matte lip crayons. I again, adore this formula. It's one of my favorites. This shade is Bahama, which is right here. Love it. These three, one, two, three, the one you can't really see, these are brand new. These are from Deck of Scarlet. It's their three-way solid lip oils. I've got a warmer nude, a darker nude, and almost like a clear with like glittery gold sparkles. They're all beautiful. I love them all. I just got sent them to me a couple days ago, so I am going to keep them. And this last one down here that's super, super sheer is the NARS balm whatever it's called and it's also in the shade laguna again i'm going to keep it it's just a deluxe size and it's so sheer it's going to be easy to wear all the time and get through it so again these are another 10 that i'm not getting rid of i'm sorry don't hate me okay so let's start on some more vibrant colors i think that'll be fun Okay, these are like the most vibrant colors in my collection. I, I just don't have very many and half of them are the soft touch lipstick formula, so I'm not gonna get rid of them, but I am, I am gonna swatch these out so you guys can see again. What in the world? <gasps> Do you guys see this? How well can, can this zoom in? 
Can you see what this looks like? Oh my gosh. Look at all the white bumps growing in it. <gasps> Ew. Good thing I didn't swatch this yet. Oh my god, look at that. Ugh. Do you see that? Ew, that is disgusting. Ew, 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 ew. Okay, okay. Ew, ew, ew. Eh. Well, I was gonna swatch this. I'm not anymore. This is an old, like, glossy balm formula from Pretty Vulgar. It's clearly molding. That is foul. Uh, I didn't swatch it because it's freaking molding. Uh, I'm getting, I'm gonna get rid of this, obviously. Again, these four, which are one, two, three, four in order. This peachy one right here. This is the shade Punked Up Peach. Again, it's one of my new lipsticks. I'm going to keep it. The purple one next to it is the shade Disco Down. I'm keeping it. This fuchsia color right here. This is Funky Fusion. Funky Fusion. Really pretty. And then this hot pink color is called Fuchsia Flare. Again, keeping those four. They're super vibrant. And normally when I choose vibrant shades like this, again, I want a, lips, a liquid lipstick, but I'll play with these a couple months and see how I like them. And then my last two, since this is all, I consider this a liquid lipstick formula. It's just in a stick tube. This is this first color right here. Super pretty. It's from Marc Jacobs. It's the shade Flaming O. Love it. And then this one is kind of like a tri-toned lipstick and because of that I find it super unique. It's from Smashbox. I have it in the shade Berry Ombre. It's the Be Legendary Triple Tone Lipstick. I just find it super unique. There's nothing else on the market like that. Honestly, I don't even know if you can buy this still. I just find it so unique um, that yeah, I think I'm going to keep it too, surprisingly. So I'm really only getting rid of one. I'm kind of doing horrible here. I guess I should do a little better. So let's move on to the next color, op color wave.